So here we are with the first episode, episode one of the many sides of voice actor radio. I basically only know the synopsis of this and I thought it sounded eerie enough and that's why I'm here. So we're gonna check out this episode. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I do have my full length up on Patreon and early access in the YouTube memberships. Other than that, let us get started. There's one person who's uh, lacking sleep out here. Is this just a whole radio station in like in the school? <laughs> By pure coincidence. A month ago, okay. Oh, that's Yasumi, okay. <laughs> Just watching herself. <laughs> She's got that cute little fang on her. Of course. Sato Yumiko. <laughs> of course. Huh? <laughs> Yuhime. Uh oh, a rising star. Oh? Oh? Wow, what a fucking chain of events. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, well, at least he's under his socks and not, you know, anything else. And her shoes, but you know. Oh, do loat. Oh, just walked away. Oh, she can clean it herself. She goes into the bathroom. Uh oh, they am already picking a fight. <laughs> what is this confrontation music? It's a cop and attitude when someone's apologizing. Herself? Or is she talking about Yasu? What's so wrong with that? Oh! <laughs> they both they literally have the same haircut. This whole episode has just been a little, just slightly off, you know, there's just some, something slightly off about it. <laughs> yeah, she's so much better than me. RIP. Just flopped out of nowhere? Because she has her the opposite? <laughs> you guys are classmates. Damn, she gets this project just by being near her. <laughs>。<laughs><笑> Okay. Wait, are we at the? Are we? We're only at the halfway point. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> the music in this scene. What? 
Oh, what's my favorite? Alright, these two are just fucking backhanding complimenting each other. <laughs> But you're in the same. But she's been getting better gigs than you. In a theater troupe first. Oh. <laughs> As the writer. <laughs> oh, she's a mecha girl, huh? <laughs> then it makes you so like more likable. Oh. Like this energy where they're just fucking talking shit to each other. <laughs> You know, I'd listen to it. <laughs> oh, you're only three episodes in? What is this? some old looking microphones. I wonder how their actual quality is. We'll be doing a public recording. Mm-hmm. Gotta get your reactions for real. <laughs> I'm out of here. Gotta get out of this 2v1 room. If it's public recording, then it means that everybody will see them, right? Just don't really feel like they're classmates. Yeah, you know what's missing? The bickering! If they start bickering, people will be like, yeah, they do sound like classmates. <laughs> What are you- Oh, okay. She says that she's not participating in that. Well, I mean, they're, they're not eating with each other, eh? Oh, yeah. My god. Who is that? <laughs> that was just some cute girl, but it's just you. <laughs> Yeah, it's because... Nah. <laughs> Still trying to assert her dominance out here. <laughs> but you're the one who's getting all the... I mean, the same goes for Yasumi. God, you see how thin her waistline was? What the hell? It's enough to just worry that he aryans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this friendly audience. <laughs> Rip. Ooh. <laughs> I really show that she's clumsy to the audience. <laughs> Gotta let them know. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
てたんですけど皆さんのおかげでほぐれましたわけで始まりましたゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、ゆいひょっとしたら、Studying while listening to lo fi music. <laughs> The room, I mean. Stand by you. I would presume these two voice actors are the ones singing. That's a nice gradient. With like the red mainly overtaking. The blue. I mean, there's no blue no left in the gradient <laughs> of the text. <sighs> How dare you fucking trip me? Oh, you're gonna. Damn, just hugging her? I'm gonna bring you down. Alright, alright, that's the uh that's the end of that. Still trying to figure out whether uh Watanabe or Yuhi. I guess I'll just call her Watanabe then. Uh, whether Watanabe is like, I don't know, a little spicy tsundere or something. <laughs> Very nice. But all right. All right. We're gonna go right back to the center. All right. So that was the first episode of the many signs of voice actor radio, voice radio actor, voice actor radio. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was, um, certainly wasn't, it uh, certainly was an episode, you know? It introduces us to our two main character, introduces us to the concept that is the both of them uh, being classmates and uh, working with each other in this radio. I did wonder if this was like the school radio or something to which I was like, you know what? This must be like some high class, some high end school or something, but no, it's just one of the gigs. And uh, the, the, the one thing that I have to point out before I forget is the music selection in this <laughs> in this series. They, they really love their EDMs, but like, It gets to the, 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 the weird points is that it gets to this、uh, to the scenes where、uh, where Sato and Watanabe are essentially arguing with each other. They're having a little bit of beef with each other, but then, like, the EDM, it, it makes it sound like a bit of like a confrontational music. But then at the same time, it's such a bop to me that I'm just over here vibing with it. And I'm just over here like, I, I don't. <laughs> Do you want me to do, do, do you want me to bob with the <laughs> with the song or do you want me to actually get caught into the uh uh what is it get get caught into the what what the what the show is trying to tell me to feel so in terms of that it's a little off putting another way to put it is that it feels a little too fast paced right the beat is a little fast but it is kind of like <laughs> An EDM, but <laughs> it's not a slow song and all that. So there, there's just that big、uh, disruption for me when it comes to like the music and like the scene itself. That I'm just, I don't know what's happening. Well, I do know what's happening, but I don't know how I should be feeling about it. But if that's the sort of music selection that they're gonna go through for, for this whole fucking series, then I think that it's just something that I will just get used to. And that will be totally fine, you know? I do like the music. I just find it very odd in the, in, in the, mu in the placement of the scenes and, you know, the, the music and all that. So, and let's push that all aside. The only two things I'm gonna be talking about for this discussion are the two main characters, starting with Sato Yumiko, or in her. Uh, in her character name or her celebrity name or whatever, Yasumi Utatane. Now, Sato is a gyaru, as she says, and she is willing to say what is on her mind because, you know, that's just how gyarus are. They, they wear their heart on their sleeves and all that. <laughs> But when she goes out in her, I was gonna say her pen name, her, I don't know why, what is the name? She says when she goes into public for work, right? Her public identity, her. I'm just I'm just gonna continue to say her celebrity identity. So when she goes into the public as 
Yasumi. She is very different. She portrays herself as much more of a cute and innocent sort of gal because, as she says, that's what people want. If they see her true personality, then there's there's gonna be like, oh, f this girl. To which you know, when was this created? Because it's 2024 now. All right, we love Garus. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's you know, sometimes you can't you, you don't want to go against the grain you just want to go with what has been working in the idol industry and she did say she was working in the idol industry or the idol voice actor or whatever and usually that's the big popular thing and we can kind of see that with our uh, other main character Watanabe Chika or in her celebrity name is Yuhi Yugure she is a sweet and innocent girl who's very beautiful and you know she's her personality is well very different from her real self and as we learn towards the end with her is that she hates her identity because she knows exactly that this is what the audience wants but this is not who she is and she feels like she is stifling her real self or maybe she i I don't know, we'll just have this, it, it kind of looks like she feels like, you know, she feels like she's lying to people, which, understandable, that's just how showbiz is a lot of the times. So the both of them, so the both of them are kind of going through that whole identity thing where they have to keep up with their appearance and while their true self are very different from one another. I, I, I will say, when it comes to like, having a public identity versus their private identity, how the fuck are these two so... <laughs> <laughs> they put on a bit of makeup, they do their hair differently, <laughs> and then suddenly everybody's just like, wow, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like, none of the classmates, like, literally the guy who was, like, the big fan, right, in the beginning, sitting there and talking about uh, Yuhi Yugure and all that, and then Yuhi Yugure is, like, right in front of him, he does not even fucking realize, even though she's, like, the same hair color, I would presume the ha same uh, I was gonna say the same size, like, height, I mean, but I don't know if they've got, like, her height, uh, shown, uh, her, her information, you know, her, her, <laughs> her personal body information and, and all that, I don't know if they have that out in public, but whatever, you know, nobody fucking recognizes them when they're dressed like their public identity. <laughs> God, so funny, dude. So funny. But hey, you never know. It might just be me because I'm the person who typically recognized faces a whole lot more than I do recognize uh, names or remember names. Only if I've met the person before, all right? I'll still have times where, like, <laughs> I can't fucking tell people's faces apart. <laughs> but if I've met you and I've got you in my memory, then, like, I, I, for the most part, I will be able to remember... Uh, who you are. I just won't remember your name. <laughs> Too much brain power, you know? The big forefront, the element that is between these two characters is that they bicker with one another, they argue with one another, which is, you know, not a very uh, new thing in Yuri. I do love a bickering, <laughs> a, a bickering couple, but I'm also like on the very extreme end, where, like, I really enjoy black and white, and if you don't know what black and white is, it's literally a Yuri uh, manga about two office ladies being the absolute shit out of, a, out of each other before engaging in sex. <laughs> that's, that's a summary that I would say to people about black and white. I'm so excited for volume, uh, can't remember if it's volume 2 or volume 3 that is coming out this year, not, uh, in terms of, like, the translation coming to, to here in America. But I'm so excited for that new volume. I'm so excited to get more black and white. <laughs> Anyways, what was I talking about here? Yeah, the element of these two bickering, right? That's the big focus. And, I, and, and the anime is really trying to showcase that, right? With them arguing and bickering with one another. But I, <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't really see how they're like that how they don't like each other but if i think about it in like a yuri way you know i understand 
Like, they're, they're bickering with one another, but like they're also backhanding complimenting each other at the same time. You know, like, oh, so you're Yasumi Utatane, you're the one who voice acted in this one anime. Well, she was my favorite character, but knowing that you were the one who voice acted her, oh. <laughs> Really, really, really spoils the, really spoils the character for me. And it's just so funny. Uh, but I, I do enjoy just like the, the, the bickering and like the backhand compliments and like they, they, the, I mean, you can kind of see with Watanabe, she literally cannot take compliments, right? Sato's just out here complimenting her and Watanabe's just like, ah, get your fucking compliments away from me. <laughs> when it comes to that, like, I, I totally get it, right? They can, they, they kind of like maybe for something like Watanabe maybe she's just projecting herself onto Sato because she goes and she says I really hate people like you but at the same time Sato's the sort of person who's able to say whatever the fuck is on her mind while Watanabe uh, or like as we see uh, towards the end of all this with the public recording it is Watanabe who is afraid because she's afraid of losing face she's afraid of uh cracking this mask that she's been wearing in front of the audience this whole time and so sato's just gonna be like yo dog i'll help you crack that mask for you by literally tripping you and getting you to fall face <laughs> face into the ground <laughs> so uh, so like i i can definitely see if this is how they're gonna be portraying it for Watanabe's character. I could definitely see Watanabe being upset at herself, but not really able to understand it, and that's why she puts it out on Sato. Who knows? We'll just have to see how her character is going to go, but in terms of, like, the difference between their two characters, right, in that Sato is very much the star. She is the one who shines in her, <laughs> in, 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 in the private world, right, between her and Watanabe, but when we see in the celebrity world, it is Yuhi who is outshining Yasumi, she is, uh, Yuhi is the one who is getting more gigs, getting steady income, and all that, while Yasumi is just sinking lower and lower and lower, because who knows, you know, maybe people just don't like this act that you're doing, who knows? They haven't really told us about why Yasumi isn't getting more jobs compared to Yuhi just yet, other than Yuhi is just so much better. Maybe people see Yuhi as genuine and see Yasumi as not. <laughs> Who knows? I'll, I I wouldn't be able to know because they didn't really showcase us what the people on the live stream were commenting, but it's alright. When I used to watch VTubers all the way back in 2020, Jesus Christ, can you believe it's been four years now? But when I used to watch VTubers, back when it was still on the rise, uh, there was this... I can't remember her name, but all I know is that she was really good at... Uh, she, she, she was very perverted, but she was really good at rhythm games. Which, you know, anybody who's good at rhythm games, I show them high, I show them high respect. <laughs> But I also liked her her humor and all that. And again, as I said, she's very fucking perverted. But when she first debuted as a VTuber, she has that personality that like uh, that Sato has, right? Her her uh, her Yasumi uh, Uta Tane type of celebrity, uh, sorry type of personality. And I thought that that's always so funny <laughs> when you see when you uh, you can't watch it now. I believe not. There might be clips, but you know with the whole terms of like retiring and all that they usually just shut down the entire fucking channel or they like remove all the videos which is really fucking bullshit i really hate the fact that they do that but uh, the, uh but uh, yeah well when we, we when she still was there and like her debut was there, <laughs> the difference between herself and her debut self is such a big fucking gap it's so funny like because she was putting on that cute girl act for a while and then eventually it just cracks and like the audience is just like we know who you are all right <laughs> so she just gave up and she just turned into the fucking degenerate that she was or that she is technically <laughs> it, it was it, 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 it was so good, you know, and I can definitely see for Sato, right, the reason why she's willing to put on this innocent face is the whole idol stuff. That's, I 
go back and say again, right? <laughs> I don't know what year this took place in, if it was like all the way back in like the 2010s or something, right? 2015, 2016? Understandable, I can see why you guys are doing that, but like, we're in 2024? Nah, dog. We're here for... <laughs> we're here for genuine reactions. We're here for, you know, for genuine people. And by genuine people, we're, we're really here for people who look genuine enough. <laughs> Whether they're genuine or not, doesn't really matter. But we want you to look genuine. We want you to look like you fucking care about this shit. And we want you to actually put that effort outside of your public facing self, right? Like, we want you to actually be able to dish out that genuinity. Gen, 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 genuinity. <laughs> God, I don't know how to say <laughs> Where you'll be able to push that out outside of your public, well, not outside of your public, but in terms of like outside of the internet a lot of the times, right? If you're going to say you're going to do something, you might as well fucking do it. That whole, that whole sort of spiel. Then again, when I really think about VTubers and stuff, I feel like they are playing characters still because that's kind of how they develop their VTuber persona or something, VTuber self. Right? Like, if their character is a fox or something, they have to be in character that they are a fox. And they, you know, foxes like certain things or whatever. Like, if they're a cat girl or they're a dog man or something, you know? <laughs> they have to stay in that sort of character. Uh, it, uh, but they, they're still able to, like, shine a little bit in terms of, like, having their genuine self shine through, I feel, for, like, the VTubers who kind of go through it for a while and they kind of just get used to it a little bit because I feel like when it comes to, like, well, I don't know. It's either, it's either two things, right? If you're going to be live streaming and playing a character for how many fucking hours? Three, four hours? Six, seven hours? You either get used to it and you just adopt that persona and you kind of just kind of become them a little bit, even outside of streaming, or you eventually crack a little bit and you let yourself through the mask. But that's that. But then like that would totally be fine, too, because like that adds in that that bit of like, you know, genuine response that people want nowadays. But again. Not exactly genuine. It has to look genuine. <laughs> let me tell you, the amount of fucking YouTubers who get fucking called out and then the people in the comments who are like, man, I never knew this. this I was, I'm so surprised that this is a guy. You know, I thought, I thought he was so genuine and all that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going on like an entire fucking rant right now about fucking VTubers and, and all that. But, you know... In terms of identity, persona, and all that, that's just how it is in showbiz, celebrity life, and all that. And if these two girls want to get into said showbiz, well, they either gotta do one of the two things, I said. Our two main characters are very blushy with one another, very Yuri. But other than talking about the characters themselves and then their whole, like, celebrity icons and, and whatnot... Really nothing else to say. We're still kind of, like, planning out. Well, I mean, this whole episode, right, is to build out the platform for us to stand on. So that's kind of how it is for this episode. We'll just have to see what episode two has in store for us. But if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next episode.